Good morning, and thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Hop on, say hi, let me know where you're from, especially if it's your first time watching me here on Facebook. Just waiting for some comments so I know I'm live. Although everything looks like it's up and running. There we go. Hey, Meg, I swear, Meg, you're always the first one on on Friday mornings. There's Angie. Hello, Angie. Thank you so much for tuning in. Janelle, Linda, thank you. Everybody's waking up this morning. All right. So again, rosewardstampersdelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Linda's from Indiana. How's the weather out there in Indiana? I think it's going to be a beautiful day here. Hey, Jill. Yes, I haven't seen you on in a while. And Rita's here, too, from Springfield, Missouri. Okay, so everybody share my videos, whether you're watching here or on YouTube. Please share my videos. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Just say hi, okay? All right, it's raining there. Okay, well, I think we're going to get some storms too. All right, well, we're going to get started. So I'm going to flip the camera and we are going to go. Okay, so again, Rose Warden, I just realized I didn't have my lights on. Let me see if I can put those on, see if I can get a, rid of some of these shadows. All right, I think that's a little better, a little brighter. There we go. Okay, so rosewardstamperstelight.com. If you'd like to place an order with me, just go there to stampersdelight.com. Use that host code for the month of June. Also, check out our stampersdelightshop.com. That is our apparel shop. Uh, it's got some fun little um, items in there, including the grab your coffee, grab your tea mug. But what I'd really like you to do is go and check it out. And tell me what's not there that you'd like to see. We have t-shirts and uh, little fanny packs and bumper stickers. Perfect for the stamper in your life. But what I'd like to know is what don't you see that you'd like to see? I know sweatshirts were on the um, agenda and so are baseball caps. But give me some ideas, okay? All right, so we are going to get started. So for today, what I chose to showcase was the In the Wild Suite. If you watch my Sunday, Scrapbook Sunday 101 series, you'll see that I did a scrapbook page with this. And today we are going to show some cards and do some stamping with that. So before I get started with In the Wild, uh, if you ordered my June online class, that'll be going out this weekend. And I have, and you can see everything in the description, um, I've chosen this set, the Evergreen Elegance Bundle, the stamp set with the, uh, the punch for my July online class and the description of how you can join will, will be below. And this is for my July class, which you have to sign up by July 10th because July, as you know, is Christmas in July here. So everything will be Christmas in July, including my videos. Here's a sample card I put together last night real quick, just to show you how that punch and that stamp set work together. Oh, thank you, Angie. Angie likes my scrapbook videos. Definitely share them and give me a thumbs up. So this is using that uh, punch and I just want to show you something. So when I was playing around with this, okay, I did the soft succulent, the um, evening evergreen, and then some of our uh, evergreen shimmery vellum. So I did the whole trees going up the side, but then I realized if you look real close at that bottom one, you can take, so here's a little tip for you. You can take any of these trees. I use this one. Stamp the trees real close right across the edge of your paper and then punch it out. And you actually, can you see that? You actually get where it looks like real leaves. Okay. You love this card? Well, thank you. So this is for my, again, July class, online class, Christmas in July. So if you'd like more information on that, just read the description below when I'm done. Okay, so now we are going to get started within the wild. 
So he, if you missed it, here's the scrapbook, that page that I did. And you can go back and watch that. I knew as soon as I saw that stamp set, I needed to do this, this uh, picture, which was hanging in a frame which broke. So this was at a preserve, a tiger preserve that we went to quite a few years ago. Okay, so that was my scrapbook Sunday. Put that back there. Now let me show you some samples with this. And again, it's in the wild. And this one was um, at, in Maui. I got this one. This one was from Jessica B. And you can see how she used that. I like how she just stamped the top of his head with the stripes. This one was from my team member and friend, Stacy. It was a uh, I'm just wild about being on your team. I love that. And then you can see she put tuck the um, tiger behind that. Now, these tigers are cut out from the designer series paper. And the dies will do that for you. Okay. This one is one that I had shown when I did the fun fold with the hats off. And I used the designer series paper for this. So if you want to see how to do this fun fold, just go back and look for the hats off video on YouTube. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Monica. My Maui buddy. Good morning, Stacy. Oh, you love the card that looks stunning. I think you were talking about the Christmas one. Well, thank you so much. Okay, so that was another one we did. All right, now let's look at some new ones. Well, let's take a look here. Uh, one thing I want to mention that, you know, of course you have your stamp set and then you have your dies if you buy the suite and then you got this great embossing folder and you can see that it's the print. Okay. I like to keep mine all together. So we're going to close that back up. So with that said, the one with the print or the embossing folder, rather, I did this card and you can see, I'll bring it in close. I used those dies to make all the little greenery stamp that tone on tone. And then, of course, use the designer series paper. I cased this. Let me just show you what I did. I cased this a little bit from the catalog. So don't forget your catalog for ideas. See how they did the hello, hello, hello? Well, I kind of cased it from that, but, of course, I changed mine up. Now, I stamped the hello, and then I used the embossing folder. And, of course, these are our... Um, in color gems, the square gems from, these are uh, 20, what is it, 2019 to 2020 gems, 2021. The square one's in the catalog. <laughs> All right, so let me just open this one up. So that's the card that I did for that one. And of course I did this. I also did my envelope. The next one that I did, I, again, took the idea from the catalog here. You see how they've got this one right here with the black and white tiger sitting behind all the greenery. And again, this is on page 44 and 45, my version of it. Again, I stamped You Are Fierce. I stamped all that greenery first. Then I ran it through the big shot or embossing machine, sorry. And then I got those. Uh, embossed images okay have a wild birthday that's another one that I did and then I did this one again using the designer series paper some of the dies thanks you're the beast and there we have that one Okay. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Carol. For the card that I'm going to do today, and I'm going to show you one of them because I'm going to change it up a bit, of course. Here's the envelope. And of course, I used my leftover designer series paper. This is probably one of the easiest fun folds you ever do. And yes, it does look like a shirt. Okay. You can put a tie from our um, stamp set handsomely whatever it's called, you could put a tie right here and just make a shirt, okay? But for this one, we are doing a fun fold gate card. And you can see I have the two tigers that were already, they were cut out with the um, die. This one doesn't have a die, so I had to freehand that one or fussy cut that one. 
and all you do is open it this way. Easiest fun fold going. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. You are fierce. Have a wild birthday. And it just closes up that way. Good morning, Carolyn. So we're going to get started with that. But before I do, I also want to give a shout out to a few people that sent me some very nice cards. This was from Janice, another team member. And inside she said the uh, tea is a cup of life. And she put a little tea bag in there for me. Thank you. I also want to show you our swaps. So I'm just backing up a bit. This is our team swaps. Some of the team swaps I got and I forgot. I don't have the name on there. I'll tell you in a minute who that one's from. This one is from Tish. This was my swap. So yes, we do team swaps when you join my team also. Usually every time a uh, new catalog comes out. So that's mine. This one is Karen Mickles. The pansies. This one is Joyce. I didn't see Joyce on there this morning. Joyce did a great job. And this is actually Joyce's first swap. Another gatefold. This one is Denise's, which is a pullout card. Great cards, right? And this one is Grace Moons. Thank you, Grace. I have to play with that set yet. So this one must be Linda's. I don't know why I don't have Linda's name on here. Linda, another team member. Isn't that cute? Okay, I might be doing this one next, the uh, sweet next, next week. Okay, so those are our swaps. All right, so let's get back to our in the wild. I'm going to bring in a piece of design. Uh, first, I'm going to bring in a piece of evening evergreen. Now, you can... You can actually score this on each end. But I'll be honest with you, for this card, the way I find it easier is I just bring those two pieces to the middle and eyeball it. For me, this is the way I get it close enough. And also, I want to make those two meet. Let me get my bone folder. So scoring it or using... The fold. I like to do it this way because I really like to have that as close as possible. Oh, thank you, Megan. Hey, Tammy. Good morning. Another Maui buddy. Okay, so we have that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some designer series paper. This piece I already have cut. It's left over. It's about two inches. Um, let's just see if I have, I should have a Ruler here. Yeah, there we go. We'll just use this big ruler. So this is actually three and three quarters, uh, one and three quarters. All right. Normally I would have a little bit wider brim here, but since this is a leftover piece and actually it's not going to be long enough, so we're going to grab another piece. Let's do, let's see what piece, of, you know what? I'm going to change it up altogether. Let's grab this piece. Okay. So let me grab my paper trimmer. Card on the fly. I don't have the, a lot of this prepped already because I wanted to show you how to do it. We're going to use this one. And I, there's the two-inch mark. Okay, and I'm just going to go one notch smaller than the two-inch. And then I am going to cut this. Remember, I want to I wanna have this at five and a half. So we're just going to go five and a half here. Because I'm changing... I want to show you a different designer series paper side to that. So let's do that. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to glue this down using my stamp and seal. And I am going to just leave a tiny little border if I can. If not, I can trim it. I think this I'm going to go all the way to the top instead. Okay, there we go. And if it's a little long because of your cutting, which sometimes in the morning I can't cut too straight, I'm just going to trim it off. Okay. The Maui crew is up early. You got that right. Well, I appreciate you getting up this early, although, Monica, I know 
that you get up early all the time. Okay, I'm using my stamp and seal plus now because my other one went kaput. Okay, and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go from the bottom to the top. Just because when I trim it, if I trim it crooked, you're not going to see that. And, I, and that was perfect, so I didn't even need to trim it. Okay, so there's the first piece of your fold. Really easy. You can score this also, but I like to get it. I like to do it this way only because I want to make sure that they meet. So this is just a way of fun fold without having to score everything. Just flip that down. Okay. Right here is the point. Just flip that down so the two meet. And you see what I mean about it looking like a shirt, right? <laughs> All right. And then we have this just like that. I'm going to take another piece of designer series paper. And for this one, I am going to, I think I'm going to use the opposite side of that. Let's see what size this is. This strip is already two inches. So I'm going to do two inches by two inches. Oop, let me bring that in so you can see it. So it's two inches by two inches. And I want this side. So I'm just going to angle that. right in there, slice that right in half, and I have these two pieces. And I am going to layer those right there. Now, this is a little big, so I'm gonna trim that. There we go. Okay, so you can trim it down. This one was a little too large, but that's okay. I'm gonna trim it by hand, okay? This could have been a little bit smaller. Sometimes what happens is I like to work with larger pieces and then trim them. To me, sometimes that's a little easier than trying to get um, them perfect. And I'm going to bring it down this way. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, and then I can flip that up and just eyeball it and just trim off the pieces that I don't need. If you'd rather just cut it smaller, you can do that. But I find working with a larger piece sometimes is easier for me. I don't know if it's my old eyes or what. We're just going to trim this off. So I'm just trimming this. Okay. So now you have the different designer series paper. To keep that down, I am going to grab some dimensionals. Let me grab my larger ones. Probably one on each will hold it, but I want to hold it down. Oh, thank you, Rosalie. And then I'm just going to push that down. So there you go. That's holding it. There you go. And that's your gatefold. I see that I didn't glue this part down too well. There we go. There's the gatefold. Easiest fun fold you have, right? Okay, now we're gonna bring in some, a piece of white cardstock. And I am going to bring in my two wildcats here. Let's just bring that in. I have my inks, I'm looking for my pad. There it is. Okay, now remember these are photopolymer, so I want my mat. The first one I'm going to do is with Cajun Craze. Just going to give that a little twist. So I'm inking it. Just give it a little twist there. And I'm going to stamp this right here. Hold it for a second. Let it soak in. This is a bold image stamp. Okay. And then with the Crush Curry... Again, inking that up. I'm going to do my other wildcat. I'm going to put him up here. Now, this crushed curry is a newer one, so it's very dark, as you can see. I am going to bring in some tiger stripes, and I am going to play with that. So here's the body. For this one. 
I'm using my Memento for that. I use Memento just about for everything. And you can, there we go. You want to have it this way to put it on the body. Now this one, let's see how we can work this one out. I think it will work the other way. We might not be able to get the body on that too well. Well, we can right there. You get the idea. Not crazy about the way that one came out, but hey, you know, trial and error. Okay. Now this is the little head and that normally what I would do is use my Stamparatus for this. Not everybody has the Stamparatus, although you should. So I am just going to use my regular eyeballs here. Okay. All right. So now we have our two tigers. Thank you, Angie. I'm going to cut these in half because I'm going to use our mini machine. It's just easier sometimes to use that when you're doing things live. All right. So I am going to bring in my mini embossing machine and grab this die. Okay, so we're gonna cut him out. Just grab that. I'm gonna have to turn it <laughs> so that I can actually cut this. I love that, Monica, the Maui crew. The Maui crew. Okay, so there's that one. Now we're going to grab the other die for this one. The cat that's sitting down. And I'm just going to cut this. Now remember, I wanted some stripes on him, but they don't quite match up, so... You'll see what I'm going to do in a second. When I cut that, let's see if any of them are. Actually, this one worked out pretty good. So you see that it cut off those ones that I didn't really need. So we have two now. The next thing I'm gonna do is bring in a piece of green. This is the evergreen, evening evergreen. And I am gonna bring in one more stamp and I'm gonna stamp that on the evergreen. Evergreen on evergreen. Oh, I didn't use my mat. Let's hope it comes out. Yeah, it did. Okay, actually I'm gonna grab two of those, I think. Since I have room, we'll make two of those. Now, this may not fit in my mini, so I need to trim this piece off. <laughs> Nobody can see what I'm doing here. As I'm cleaning this off, I'm throwing it on the floor. <laughs> okay, that's what vacuums are for. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these two out. No, Megan, I haven't received my new paper pumpkin yet. Mine usually comes in around the 20th. You can bet I'll be doing a either a live or a recorded video on that. But no, I haven't gotten that yet. Hopefully soon. But like I said, mine usually comes around the 20th or 21st. And also, I want to wish all the fathers out there, and just like fathers, a happy Father's Day on Sunday. Okay, so now we have those. Let's see what else. One more thing. Let's take this succulent and see, I got two strips. I think I can, I'm overlapping those for a reason. Okay, I got these dies. So the die here, and I can probably do two at a time. 
Okay, so you see how I lined those? I just threw those on there. I'm not stamping anything. I'm just taking the dies. Got to stand up and let that catch in there. Oops, I don't think I have it in there right. Okay. Let me get that together here. There we go. And then just push that through. I just wanted to use a few more dies. Okay. I just got to poke out. I did a few of these ahead of time because I wasn't sure what color I wanted to use. Come on. Okay, so there's that one. A little piece you'll see it in a minute. And this one is right here. Okay, so those are the two little pieces I did. Hi, Susan. Okay. All right, so for now, we're going to put that aside. I'm going to bring back my card, and I am going to... That didn't get glued down too well either. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is decide which way I want these. Remember, they're going to open up opposites. So... I think we'll have him... Maybe this way. Let's see which way works better. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and grab some dimensionals. Make sure you get it on the right side. I've done that before. Okay, so this one is going to go right here so that it opens that way. Right? This one is going to go right here. They can overlap. We're going to put a couple on here. And you take your pick tool, flick those off. So there's your opening, right? Then I've got these pieces and what I wanted to do was add a little more see I left these kind of plain that was just my test card these I want to add right here so that they look like they're walking through the wild I'm just going to put one there for now so I can make sure that's where I want it yeah I think so okay and this one we'll put one we'll put one right here Who's doing a countdown with me for re retiring from my day job? 112 days. I took out the weekend so it would seem shorter. Okay, so now can you see that? Okay, so we got those. And you can add as many as you'd like to this. I'm going to bring in those other pieces. And you can see I've done the Cajun, ca cra yeah, Cajun craze. The crushed curry. And I got this one little one of... Got evening evergreen and soft succulent. Okay, so I am going to go ahead. Good morning, Bonnie. And just put these wherever I want. I'm going to use this one up here. I want that to... Nope, I'm going to use the green one. Okay, so we're going to put that green one. We're going to tuck that one there. We'll tuck this one here. Just playing around with it first. I like those. So I am going to grab my Okay, so I'm gonna grab my silicon mat. You definitely want that too. We're just gonna add some greenery to this. Put that behind him. Like that. We do two of these. Yes, I'll still be on Friday mornings when I retire, which will be in December. Uh, I may move it up to 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll see. I know uh, this time has been, although people didn't think it would go over well, there's a lot of people on at 7 a.m. here. Come on. This one doesn't want to work. Okay. I just ripped that because I'm 
don't really want to. Let me grab my other. <clears throat> well, it's buried. Of course it is. So we're just going to wing this. Put it together. Anyway, yes, I will still be on Friday mornings. I am going to tuck that in here. So you can see that I'm now... You weren't, you weren't a big fan of this sweet... Well, I'll tell you, honestly, and you know I'm honest, I wasn't... I, I didn't think I was going to be either a fan of this, but I did want it for that one picture, and then after I saw so many things being done with it, I was like, yeah, I need that. Sound like my son when he was little. Yeah, I need that. So I'm just going to tuck these, like, in between there. So I'm just going to take a little of my... I don't know why my... Lou isn't working here. All right, I'm just going to grab my old snail because that's, I think the stamp and seal plus is just too much for this. We're going to put that right in there. And my other one is over at the other table. So I'm just going to cheat and use my retired snail. And we're just going to put that maybe right behind here. So there you have the opening now, right? Just like this one, but, oh, I have another little piece to use. Didn't see you. Now we are going to go ahead and put that maybe right, right here. Okay, so that they actually look like they're behind all the greenery. Thank you, Stacy. Stacy says she loves the change up of the fold. Okay, now we're going to do the inside. So I am going to bring in, well, let's see. I got to put something on the outside first, right? Let's see. What are we going to use here? You are fierce. Have a wild birthday. So let's do the long one. Let's try that one first. Let me grab a strip that I already have cut. These are my pieces left over from when I'm trimming cardstock. I keep those because they are the perfect size for for sentiments. Have a wild birthday. I'm just going to snip this off. Normally, I would use my banner punch, but I don't want to get up again. Not that I mind getting up. I just don't want to have you see me away from the camera again. I'm going to put that right there. So this is actually going to be down here. So we are going to, now this one I do want my stamp and seal plus because I really want that to stick. So when it's closed, it's gonna be right here. Have a wild birthday. So you can read that, have a wild birthday. And then when you open it, it's like that, okay? So that's the close of it. So the inside, let's see, what do we want for the inside? You are fierce, that I do know. Have a wild birthday. Let's grab the you are fierce. And we're just going to put that right here. Okay, let's see what else I want to do here. Maybe, let me just check this out. Let me see how this would look. Oh, yeah, I think so. Let's see if it'll work. I have an idea. <laughs> so let's see on camera if my idea is going to even work. I am going to put this cat. Oh, let me see. You know what? I'm actually going to turn it over because I want this cat right there. Remember, this is my card on the fly. Everybody says they like to see cards on the fly when I do those. So we are going to put your fears right here. What do you think? Bring in those tiger stripes. Bring in my black. I'm not going to play around on there because I'm not cutting that out. Now let's see how that looks. 
Oop. Well, they fell out. Put them back in there. Hold on. Let's put this back first. I don't know. I didn't glue those down. I thought I did. Okay. Now they're glued down. And then let me move this out of the way. Oh, yeah. There you go. So that's going to go right in there. All right. I like the way that came out. It was a little heavy-handed putting this stamp and seal. you got to be careful with the stamp and seal because it'll rip your paper if you're too heavy-handed. So be careful with that. We're going to put that right here. And then fold it up. What do you think? You like that? I like the tiger behind there. And then we're just going to open it this way. Have a wild birthday. You're fierce. Then I'm going to bring in some of these gems that are in the catalog. These are those little square gems. And let's use those for this card. I want to use something that's going to stand out. So for me, that would be either the Bumblebee or the Just Jade. And I'm thinking the Bumblebee. So I'm just going to add some little gems. Oh, thank you, Megan. Megan says it's an awesome card. Stacy likes the card. Thank you, Stacy. I'm just laying that down so I can put some more of these gems around. Maybe one up here. And maybe one more, a little one. We'll just throw that one right here. There we have it. Ah, oh, thank you, Angie. In the wild. Now, I will have still shots of everything that I just did. Um, really not, there's not too much dimensions on here as far as this fun gatefold card goes, but I will... Uh, explain how I did it in the description. I'm also, let me just bring something else in. I am also going to add, because so many people asked about it, I'm going to add in the description the recipe for the body scrub. If you didn't see my little quick clip video on YouTube, go ahead and check that out. It was making a uh, body scrub with the mini jam jars. Everybody asked me for the recipe. It is there in, in the your YouTube shorts but some people had trouble finding it. So I'll add the recipe for my body scrub. And again, these are our mini jars. I was gonna wait until I did this sweet, but so many people asked, I don't wanna have to make you wait. So again, this is our gatefold card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me flip the camera. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the cards today. I'm just gonna close up these things so I don't get ink all over me. Again, I want to remind you that the online Christmas in July, you have to sign up for this online class by July 10th. And the 20th, it will come out. You'll get the, um, the bundle, the six cards, three designs, two of each, and the exclusive video with a list of what I used. And I usually mail that out about the 20th. So you definitely want to um, check that out. Also, I want to remind everybody that I do a rewards card for every $50 before shipping and tax that you spend with me. You get uh, one of the little punches. When the card is done, you get free a $25 uh, free merchandise from me. And yes, the online classes count. So, so I do keep track of those. And when you reach a full card, I will contact you and let you know that you can um, get something for $25 or less through me. So I did want to remind you about that. The other thing is don't forget to sh check out the apparel shop and let me know if there's something on there that you might want to see. Maybe you want the sweatshirt or uh, even though the sweatshirts are coming. And I just want to remind everybody that, yes, on the apparel shop, they do ship 
overseas into Canada. So if there's something you like on that apparel shop, go ahead and order it through the link that it shows um, and they will send it, okay? Confirm that you want this set now. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay, so I gotta wrap this up so I can get ready for work. Actually, I just gotta move over to the next desk for the next 112 days. But I am going to write a number down. Let me grab a scrap piece here. And whoever guesses the number first, I'm going to send you some of my cards. Okay, one will be from this suite. And let's see, I'm just randomly, okay, so I just wrote a number down on this yellow piece. So go ahead and start guessing. I'll, I'll say one to 25. And the first person that names, uh, that picks this number will get some cards from me. So get, go ahead and guess. I'm watching the comments. And when I say stop, that means I got a winner. Okay, so guess a number from one to 25. Not yet, not yet. Wow, they're coming in fast too. Okay, I gotta scroll back so I can make sure I didn't miss one. Nope, not yet. <laughs> wow, lots of numbers, but you're not picking the right one. Okay, hold on, I might have a winner here. Let me see. Nope, not yet. Still nobody. Okay, let me hold up. Let me just take a look. Oh my goodness, I can't believe nobody has picked this number yet. And last time it was the first one picked. Okay, let's scroll back here. Checking, checking. Wow. Stacy Blanche, Stacy, and I always pronounce Stacy's name wrong. Stacy Banchetti. Stacy, you know who you are. I always, I always say your name wrong. Number 10. She picked number 10 first. Stacy, I will be mailing you some cards. I always say Stacy Blanchett and it's not. Okay. Stacy B, you won the cards. Okay. So I'll be sending those to you. Thank you all for tuning in. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel so you know when I, I am on again or if I've added a new video. Also, leave me some comments. Nice ones, please. <laughs> Share all my videos. And I will see you back here next Friday morning at 7 a.m. Until then, have a great week, everybody, and keep on stamping. Bye.